Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna to cook up cauliflower crust pizza, but now we're gonna do a white pizza. Cauliflower crust pizza, white pizza edition. But we're still house sitting, we're still in a strange kitchen, although we've been here for a while, it's not that strange, except for the grater that I have to use is only this big, which is smaller than my head. You know, for my cauliflower crust pizza, I, used to, I like to use like two cups of dried cauliflower to one cup of cheese to one egg. It's super simple. So I'm going to grate about two cups of this, but it's going to take me a while with this grater. <laughs> you know, I grated up about half of this cauliflower. It took me almost two hours, so yeah. get a bigger grater. Or you can use an electronic device if you're one of those fancy pants people. But I got about half of a good size uh, cauliflower, and I'm going to go ahead and throw this in a skillet, and I'm just going to basically stir it around for about 10 minutes on low heat. We're gonna cook some of the moisture out of here and dry it up. You hear it sizzling, you hear that water in there. Well, we're just gonna move it around in this hot pan and uh, let some of this water evaporate out of the cauliflower. Alrighty, it's been going for about 10 minutes. Been stirring it occasionally on low heat, and do you hear that? You don't hear anything because a lot of the moisture has been cooked out of here, so it's not sizzling. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it off the heat and uh, let it alone, let it cool down for a few minutes. So the cauliflower is cooled down, it's still warm, but you can see how dry it is. And I'm just gonna throw this in a bowl. And I got a little bit of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. About half as much cheese as cauliflower, and then one egg. And I'm not gonna put any herbs, any seasonings in here, because we're gonna have plenty of flavor in the sauce. And I'm not gonna add any salt, because the Parmesan cheese has plenty of salt in it. And just go ahead and get it all mixed up. Now I got a little pan right here, and I don't have a, a nice round pizza pan, so I got to make a square pizza today. So I'm going to throw my cauliflower pizza dough out here, and you want to make sure and use some parchment paper. We're just kind of smash it together, and then I'm going to spread it out. But that's technically a rectangle, not a square. What are you talking about? It's got four sides. Of course it's a square. My mama didn't raise no idiots. Well, my mama did raise one idiot. Shout out to my big brother, Joe. What's up, Joe? <laughs> all right, so you get it all spread out, you know, make sure there aren't any holes, you know, just kind of flatten it out and make it as even as possible. All right, so we got our crust all shaped up and ready to ship out, kind of close to the edge there, but I like it on the edge. That's how I live my life. But I'm gonna slide it in a preheated oven right here, and we'll be back to check on it in a wee little bit. Alrighty, so there we have it. Boom, it's been 15 minutes and it's come together into cauliflower crust pizza perfection. Uh, but the cheese and cauliflower and egg have melted up and solidified. And we'll give it a few moments to cool down and uh, collect its thoughts before we move on to the uh, white pizza sauce phase. Toppings! Alrighty, so now my crust has cooled down a little bit. Now you don't have to wait for your crust to cool down, but I just let it, I like for it to cool down a little bit so I can pick, pick it up. You know, and I feel like that makes me look cool. <laughs> but uh, cauliflower crust pizza, man, it, it makes a really nice pizza, so definitely give it a go. Our crust is all ready, so now we're gonna top it up with our white sauce. <laughs> now to make the sauce, I'm gonna use mostly ricotta cheese. You know, because ricotta cheese is gonna add a lot of flavor to it. And it doesn't take a lot to make this sauce. In fact, that's, that's plenty right there. But, but ricotta cheese is expensive, and I'm cheap. And you can use all ricotta cheese, but I'm gonna cut it with some yogurt. Now, not a lot of yogurt, because yogurt, I mean, I don't wanna dilute the flavor of the ricotta cheese so much that it, that it doesn't have its ricotta, creamy, rich, luxuriousness. But I do wanna put a little bit of yogurt in there, because then it makes me feel like I'm being thrifty. You know, like I've saved something. <laughs> Cats love ricotta. <laughs> but so I've got my yogurt and I've got my ricotta in here. And now I'm going to put a little bit of this in here too, which is kind of a, what is this? Pesto. This is a, a pesto, pre-jarred pesto. Now I love to put, when I make a white pizza, I love to put fresh basil. You know, and then I wouldn't use a pesto. Or I'd make my own pesto, which is very easy to do. But man, we're up here in Canada right now, and basil is... <laughs> I think 
You know what I think? The cats are hungry. We're going to have to feed the oh, cats. We, just fed we the need cats. to. No, we didn't. They can we... have a slice of pizza if they'll just stop meowing. So I'm going to throw a few spoonfuls of this in here just for a little bit of basil flavor. And then a bunch of herbs. You know, I got a little bit of onion powder, some garlic powder, some fresh Italian herbs in there. And we're just going to mix it up, get it all stirred together. And you can definitely adjust the amount of herbs that are in here. Use fresh herbs if you like. But we're just gonna throw this sauce together. And you can do this in advance and it'll be a little more flavorful. And that's all there is to the white sauce. And like I said, you can do this with all ricotta cheese if you like, or just mix it with a little bit of uh, yogurt. But spread it out there, as much sauce on here as you like. And the great thing about a white sauce is that it's not as acidic as using a tomato sauce. Now I'm gonna throw some spinach on here. This is just some chopped up spinach. Boom, I got some slices of tomato, and I got a little bit of chopped up onion. I'm using some red onion right here. How's that camera girl? Is that too oniony for you? No. And then I got a little freshly shredded mozzarella cheese. Put as much as you like, but remember there's cheese in the crust already too. Now if you want to, you can add a little bit of dried Italian seasoning to the top. We've got a lot of seasoning in here already. But you know, season it up to taste. You know, it's not gonna hurt. Look at that, it's pretty as a picture. And it's square like one too. Now we're gonna slide in the oven. Let it cook away until the toppings are done to our satisfaction. So it's been about 10 minutes. So the total cooking time on this has been about 25 minutes. All together, a beautiful, bellissimo white pizza. So that's all there is to it. You know, we've taken this hideous piece of cauliflower <gasps> and we've turned it into this beautiful pizza pie. I'm gonna have to eat part of your pizza camera, girl. What? Mm. Mm. Having that little bit of pesto on there is great. Should I eat the last piece? Hey buddy, that's mine. I know it's yours. I can eat some of this cauliflower. We got left over. He's still hungry, huh? Mmm. This is better than a pizza. Go on over to MyFoodChannel.com, you can print all our recipes over there, you can subscribe over there, and never miss a Chef Buck recipe. Burkert.